And the 2015 National Coaching Staff of the Year for NCAA Division II is the University of North Georgia. Head coach Mike Davenport, assistant coach Sarah Phillips, and graduate assistant Carly Gillum. Thank you. I'd also like to say a big thank you to the NFCA and the entire staff for everything they do for the game of softball. What the NFCA does and what we do as coaches for the game of softball, we're doing it right. Our first four years at the University of North Georgia, I spent coaching women's basketball, and I can appreciate what a good thing we have going here in the game of softball, and it's part due to the leadership we have in the NFCA. I'd also like to congratulate all the coaching staffs that have been recognized here today. So many inspiring journeys for each of your programs and a well-deserved honor today. I'm truly blessed and humbled to be here, to be where I am today, and, to, and understand that the University of North Georgia softball program was built by many, many great assistant coaches, great players, better people, and a lot of great influences that I have had on my own coaching career by many of you. Early in my basketball coaching career, I was fortunate enough to hear the great Pat Summit speak several times. And one thing she said that has stuck with me today is, it's not where you coach, but why you coach. She went, to, went on to explain that the Tennessee women's basketball program was not always what we see it at, at, as it is today. She drove rank vans to and from games. She washed uniforms and practiced here and made roughly $20,000 when her career began. I think for most of us, that is where we began our careers, and some of us may just be beginning that journey today. God has put, many, God has put so many influential people in, in front of me during my career that I would never be standing here without them today. At North Georgia, we have a program belief, and that is to honor and respect those that have played the game before us. For me, those that have helped me along the way, the influences of a past summit, the opportunity to work as a student manager under Gary Ward at Oklahoma State, the influences that Scott Whitlock at Kennesaw State, a Tori Atchison, a Doug Keesler, a Tim Walton, a Patrick Murphy, or a Les Studeman at UAH, have all had on, an impact on our program at the University of North Georgia. So many great coaches that have paved the way for all of us, that have driven vans, worked on fields, washed uniforms. Thank you very much. But most importantly, I would like to thank the players that have played this game before the game was what it is today, and given our current student athletes a much greater opportunity to play the game that they have a passion to play. Players like Natasha Watley, a Caitlin Lowe, a Kat Osterman, Sharonda McDonald, Amber Patton, that continue to give the collegiate athlete the opportunity to continue to play the game beyond the college level. At North Georgia, we understand that the program was built by many players and coaches that laid the foundation for what we have today, and that means more than any trophy to me. Our current assistant coaches, Sarah Phillips and Carly Gillum, and all of my former assistant coaches, Megan Burke, Brad Davis, Ginger Jones, Becky Cleary, who have all given so much for our program for so little in return. The opportunity for our team to compete for a national championship last season was a result of so many young ladies that came before last year's team. But last year's team was the group that was fortunate enough to win our final game. It did not appear, though, that it would ever happen. You see, we got no hit and shut out in the first game of the College World Series. We went three innings into game two without getting a hit. Needless to say, standing in the third base coaching box, I was ready to fire a hitting coach. That was me. I thought that, well, it was a nice trip to Oklahoma City. Only 48 hours, and we would be on our way back to Georgia pretty quick. But we caught some breaks along the way, and history was, history was written for our program. So on behalf of the UNG softball program, I want to thank you for this honor today. Thank you.